Hello, I'm Bob Norton, CEO of Airtight Management and creator of the CEO and Entrepreneurship Bootcamp. And this session is on how to take the bootcamp for maximum benefit and ROI. I'll be your instructor for this and most of the courses in the CEO Bootcamp, although you'll also see some guest faculty sessions added later as well. My goal is that everyone who takes this should literally make millions of dollars more over their career by using these very high-level tools to build more successful businesses or save a business that might go under because it doesn't have these tools to optimize its business model. So let's get into it. First, we'll go over the agenda of this session. What's in the boot camp is number one, some study guidelines based on neuroscience and optimum learning. We'll then go through the format of each segment and what's in it. Then we'll talk about the slides, notes, and other guidelines to be as successful as possible in remembering the material. And we're also going to take you through setting your goals for the boot camp. Managing your expectations is a lot of work and a lot of material to be gone over. And so we recommend and will help you set a study plan for your own commitment to be as successful as possible in completing the boot camp and earning your Master's of Business Acceleration Certificate as well. Uh, some guidelines and, and take away what, what is most important to you. We have a tool called the Business Design benchmark quiz that we're going to take. And we're also going to go over the possible rewards and motivators and why you would want to take the boot camp as well, even though if you're seeing this, you're probably already part of the program and committed. Let's get into it. First thing to understand is that the boot camp is not like your typical seminar. The boot camp is very high level and strategic, sort of at the 30,000 foot level of everything in business. There are over 40 different uh, systems and tools that a CEO needs to learn, and most of these are normally learned on the job, which is why we have an over 80% failure rate of new startups. But the boot camp, unlike your typical seminar, is sort of a mile wide and a foot deep, as opposed to a very tactical skill seminar, which is kind of a foot wide and a mile deep or 10 foot deep. And, and so the information is very modular. It goes across all areas of the business and you'll want to learn it and use it. It's not going to teach you any specific skill. It's going to teach you roadmaps and tools and checklists and everything that you need to manage and plan a new startup or a product launch. Typical seminar is technical, it's got deep knowledge, it's very specialized. Some examples are writing or pay-per-click or a software language or accounting. The reality is that what we're going to try to teach you is much higher level than that and much more strategic. And that's one of the reasons that it can be the most valuable seminar you've ever taken in your life in terms of economic return as well as impact on your life and your businesses. And our goal is to take a raw recruit, whether you're a new CEO or in fact, even I find that most experienced CEOs don't know half of this information and so it's very valuable for them as well. But our goal is to really turn you into a Jedi master of business or the example here in the Matrix with Neo when he had that breakthrough. Some people call that, in Malcolm Gladwell's book, Blink, that's called unconscious competence. And that only comes after practice because the brain is rewired to do that stuff automatically. And, and uh, sports people often call that being in the zone. In martial arts, we sometimes call it chi or muscle memory or other things. But essentially, practice of these will make you able to do things that you can't do at all now and might take you hours to do in essentially in the blink of an eye once you've practiced these tools and know them enough. So our goal is to really turn you into a Jedi master 
or a ninja of business, but of course you're going to have to practice and use these tools to get there. So I recommend that you just immerse yourself. Immersion learning is proven to be the best. And the more you can compress the seminar into the fewest days and get it all done, the better. But you also want to relax. Remember that kid in class that used to take no notes, pay attention and get A's? Well, that's because if you're taking notes all the time, you're probably missing what the, what's flowing in the class and missing the opportunity to understand it all in context. So if you're going to take notes, pause. We'll go into some of those tactics later. And you can always replay it. That's the advantage of online learning here. So let's get into a little bit of a map, a high-level map of what's in the boot camp. First, you're going to see this set of models of the three phases of going through a business launch. Phase one is the design phase of the launch. Phase two is the product building phase. And phase three is actually doing your launch cycle and preparing all of the infrastructure and operations and customer support and accounting and other things that will be needed once the product is launched to learn. But where over 80% of people fail, and I hope you've read my ebook, The 20 Reasons Most Companies Fail and How to Avoid Them, 43% of, of companies fail because there is no demand for the product. And there's almost no excuse for that. But that's about failing to prepare. And we're going to show you how to have a 100% success rate on a launch because you wouldn't even do the launch if the product hadn't been validated as needed in the marketplace. So this is a simple overview or infographic on the three phases of launch. But of course, we're going to drill down and get into a lot more detail. But if you want to pause and study this, it will show you the things you're going to learn in each of those sort of chronological phases of launching a business. And we are approaching a market the way a Navy SEAL approaches its target. We're being stealthy. We're going in with good intelligence on the area we're going into and knowledge of the enemy, or in this case, the competitive landscape. We're going in very prepared and very practiced and trained. And with uh, the result of that is a huge chance of success is what's going to happen because of all that preparation. So let's now talk briefly about what's included in the boot camp. There are a minimum of 25 courses, and this will depend on which package you select because we're going to have some optional and other packages depending on where you are in your life and what's appropriate for you. But the minimum is 25 courses, and it probably will grow to 40 over time for people that would like to get more advanced in uh, entrepreneurship and success. There are 18 systems, and we're going to list those for you shortly. There are hundreds of tools and models and checklists. And as I said earlier, the idea here is to reveal what you don't know you don't know to you by providing a roadmap. Over a thousand best practices are embedded in these. In fact, there's a thousand slides and I haven't counted the best practices, but I suspect there's way over a thousand. It might be a couple thousand best practices because individual bullet points on many of the slides are really the result of learning and a synthesized set of best practices that you can start from that wisdom and knowledge and experience of others instead of learning a lot of things the hard way. I'm not going to read this entire list to you, but strategy, positioning, brand and vision, business model design. These are things that people generally don't know how to do and aren't taught, even in the best uh, Masters of Business Administration program. And frankly, I think Masters of, of Administrating is a wimpy thing. We are going to become Masters of Accelerating and making a business successful and growing it, not administering it. And, and that's a huge difference between the practical aspect of the boot camp and our dinosaur academia today, which does not teach the most practical things that are needed for specific jobs, and especially for the CEO job, which is probably the most complex job out there. 
what you're going to find is you're going to become with this tool set sort of a Swiss army knife. You're going to have all the tools in your toolbox to be successful at designing a business, developing products successfully that are needed by the marketplace, which almost doubles your chances of success right there. Then you're going to also learn all the mechanics of preparing for and launching a startup or any new product. So here's the map from the original CEO Bootcamp, and I gave the first CEO Bootcamp in 2004, and it had 12 tools. And since then, in 2020, I've now added another set of systems, one for intellectual property, one for the branding process roadmap, one for sustainable competitive advantage, which is something I find 90% of people pitching investors do not understand properly and do not present right. Uh, 16, system 16 is the go-to-market strategy, and every go-to-market strategy is sort of a Trojan horse because a startup or an early-stage company never can go after a large market, but it wants to expand to go after larger markets later. And so we spend a lot of time differentiating between your go-to-market strategy, which is sort of your year one strategy, and your long-term market strategy and position, which is a set of steps to expand your market and maybe your product portfolio as well, get to a sizable company. I'm in the habit of telling everyone that any business can be a $100 million business. In fact, any business can be a billion-dollar business. Because a business is just a legal entity that you put new products and services into. And if you're innovating and have some cash flow to finance your research and development and product creation, that business can always grow and grow and grow. Number 17 is bootstrapping. And number 18 is raising capital. So what you're going to see in all of these courses is a overview and a complete roadmap to do it well models, tools, and systems as a whole they make up to be successful in every one of these areas of business launch and development. Here's a 